the Impossible Instant Lab that we uh, are launching on Kickstarter. Uh, we actually met our goal in 30 hours. <laughs> So we're now trying to raise a, a second level goal where we're just yeah. going to give everybody twice the amount of film. And uh, we're also, I think, taking input from the community too about some features they'd like to see in this device. It's a very simple device. It's our new film processing unit that we've developed, which is essentially new rollers and motor, a rechargeable battery. And this is the base. On top of this base, you can put any number of things. And one of the guys in the factory had the bright idea that we would take yeah. an image from the iPhone screen and expose it onto film. So there are really no electronic connection to the phone. This is all done by the light from the iPhone screen and the lens here. So you raise this tower. This brings the lens into the right position to focus the iPhone screen onto the film So it's point. got to be all the way up to work properly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you launch the app. You can either select any photo from your camera roll, so anything that you can put onto your iPhone, you could actually expose onto film. There you go. So our film is square format. So turn this into a square. There we go. This is also a prototype. Now you see it flipped the image because we're exposing on the sure. film, so it needs to be yeah. flipped. I'm going to choose a processing time. And I'm going to choose a bright, I'm going to leave it at 50% brightness. So what's the difference between processing times? I mean, so this time. is the time that it, it shows on yeah. the screen, and this is the brightness of the screen. Okay. We'll actually have presets for all of our films. So you just hit one button for whichever kind sure. of film that you have loaded. So you hit play. Put the iPhone in the cradle. Pull the shutter. The flash tells you it's finished. Close the shutter. Wow. Now I have to keep this upside down for about 10 seconds because yeah. our some our black and white film especially mm -hmm. is still sensitive to light. There will be a color version as well. Uh, we have color already. Great. Yes, Great. we have black and white and color. Uh, the color film is actually brand new and it doesn't need to be shielded from light. However, it has a longer processing time. Mm -hmm. So for the sake of these demos, we're using the film yeah. that processes really quickly. And you can see the image is already starting to appear. Great job. Uh, so what is your, you actually have a connection to Polaroid, correct? Uh, we don't. You don't? No, to except that we bought their yeah. old factory. Okay. This was the last factory in the world that made this integral film. And uh, Polaroid was about to shut it down. Uh, our founder met the guy that ran the factory uh, back in 2008 at the closing party and they started talking about there might be a potential, uh, they weren't really sure, mm -hmm. but there might be a potential to make new instant film for vintage Polaroid cameras. Uh, at the time it was impossible, uh, so that's why we began yeah. the Impossible Project. And there's also a great quote from Edmund Land, the only things worth doing are both manifestly important and nearly impossible mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. So, we thought this was a kind of a poetic thing. What, what are you shooting for price-wise on the device? Uh, this is going to retail for $299 US, um, and it'll ship in a box with a couple packs of film. Mm -hmm. uh, right now on Kickstarter, you can get it for $229. Yeah. That's the, the lowest price yeah. that's available right now. And then we have some multi-packs. You can get two, you can get five, you can get ten. And uh, this will ship to Kickstarters, uh, we swear, yep. because we know this is a problem with yes. Kickstarter sometimes. Yes. Uh, in February, yeah, and uh, to general retail probably in, in March or maybe early April. Great.